Monday morning, and thanks for joining our live coverage of the arrival of SpaceX's Dragon on its 20th resupply mission in the year of the 20th anniversary of continuous human presence aboard the International Space Station. Dragon will arrive at the station today with over 4,300 pounds of supplies, equipment, experiments, and more for the crew aboard the orbiting laboratory, currently flying 268 statute miles just over the tip of South Africa. I'm NASA's Leah Cheshire, and welcome to the International Space Station Flight Control Room here at Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas, where teams are monitoring the systems aboard the International Space Station and the movement of Dragon to its new home for the next month. Leading the teams this morning is Flight Director Rebecca Wingfield. And just above her, you can see Capcom, or Capsule Communicator, Adam Springer. He's in communication with the crew and relaying their steps throughout the morning. The visiting vehicle officer this morning, or VVO, is David Harshman, who's keeping tabs on the spacecraft and communicating its status to the team in this room. The flight controller on the robotics console, also known as Robo, is David Gruntz. After the capture this morning, he'll command the Canada Arm 2, the station's robotic arm, to reposition the spacecraft and berth it with the station's Harmony module. The current crew aboard the International Space Station consists of NASA astronauts Andrew Morgan and Jessica Meir, as you can see, and then in the center of your screen, Alex Kropochka, current commander of the International Space Station and Roscosmos cosmonaut. Morgan and Mir are on their first space flight, but Skripochka is a veteran space flyer, and this is an extended mission for Andrew Morgan. It'll last about nine months, and he's scheduled to return with this duo in April, but not before we send another crew earlier next month. Station in Houston on two. Dragon is at the 30-meter hold. We're performing assessments on the ground. Let you know shortly when we are go to proceed with step forward, 1.102. Okay, copy, we're standing by and then for step four. Dragon is now at the 30 meter hold point this morning and this view coming from the end of the Canada Arm 2, specifically called the latching end effector. This is the piece that we'll see get closer to Dragon once it departs to that 10 to 12 meter hold point. That's where NASA's Jessica Meir will command the Canada Arm 2 from her place in the cupola module on the International Space Station. She'll use the arm to reach out and grapple the spacecraft before turning those controls back over to the robotics officer here on the ground. Dragon has already made its way through a couple of milestones this morning. It first passed through the approach ellipsoid, an invisible one kilometer line around the station. And upon crossing, that's where joint operations began between SpaceX and NASA. Dragon proceeded to the 250 meter hold point before moving toward the station again. Step four and work. And after that 250 meter hold point, Dragon passed the keep out sphere, another invisible line around the station, about 200 meters around the station. It is well ahead of schedule. We were initially looking for a capture at 6 a.m. Central Time this morning. It's looking a little bit more like 5.22 a.m. Central Time. Everything moving very smoothly for Dragon. And secondary range is 30 decimal 88. Copy.
The weekend began with over 1.7 million pounds of thrust coming from SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket as it launched at 10.50 p.m. Central Time on Friday night, March 6th, from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. The spacecraft was originally scheduled to launch a little bit earlier in the week, but a successful launch on Friday night results in where we see it this morning after about a two-day journey. Also notable, on Friday night, SpaceX accomplished the 50th landing of their first stage. The capsule you see here today was previously used on SpaceX's 10th and 16th commercial resupply missions, making this its third flight to the International Space Station. In this view, if you look below the P on SpaceX, you can see two small emblems that look like the International Space Station. That denotes the two previous flights this vehicle has made. We're in a quick satellite handover. These are tracked by the team here on the ground, and we will regain communication and video with the International Space Station very shortly. And a quick look back at that launch on Friday night, Three, March 6. Two, one, zero. And liftoff of the Falcon 9 rocket and Cargo Dragon on the final flight of the Dragon 1 spacecraft, taking research designed to improve life on Earth and lead discovery in space. So the vehicle is pitching down range to get into its After that successful launch on Friday, uh, only concerns there being some wind, but obviously a beautiful launch for Dragon and Falcon 9 rocket. We now have SpaceX where it is today at the 30 meter hold point. It will soon depart to the 10 to 12 meter hold point away from the space station, its final free flying destination for the morning before NASA astronaut Jessica Mir reaches out and grapples the spacecraft. Capture will be complete once the snares on the latching end effector of the Canon Arm 2 have closed around the pin on Dragon. After it's attached to the Harmony module today, Dragon will remain there until about April before departing for Earth and splashing down in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of Baja, California, returning about 3,700 pounds of completed science experiments and other equipment.
The robotic arm is now in motion, heading to position known as high hover, and that's where it, it will be prepared to drive in to capture the vehicle. Teams on the ground in Mission Control continue to work through the normal procedures and refresh themselves on any actions that should be taken if an abort would be necessary. But as we mentioned, things are moving along quite smoothly, and the team continues to check Dragon systems before that go to depart the 30-meter hold point and move up toward the space station. Another quick satellite handover for the International Space Station. Let's take a, a closer look at some of the cargo that make up that over 4,300 pounds on board. We're looking at about 602 pounds of crew supplies, and the bulk of the weight on the Dragon today is about 2,116 pounds of science investigations. There's another 123 pounds of spacewalk equipment and 483 pounds of vehicle hardware. That's all in the pressurized payload of, car, of Dragon. The unpressurized payload totals at about 1,032 pounds. That's the Bartolomeo platform. Here's a good look at what Bartolomeo will look like. It's a payload by the European Space Agency, and it will serve as an experiment platform for both commercial and institutional users. It's unique that Bartolomeo will sit at a special spot on the space station where it has an unobstructed view of both Earth and into space. Bartolomeo is named after Christopher Columbus's little brother, important to note, because it will actually be attached to the outside of the Columbus module. We mentioned there are about 600 pounds of crew supplies on Dragon today. Some of that, of course, includes food. And some of the things that the astronauts can be looking forward to include some candy and olives, salami, as well as fresh food like grapefruit, orange, apples, and even fresh garlic. This is a live look at SpaceX's flight control room in Hawthorne, California, where teams continue to monitor the vehicle moving smoothly throughout the morning.
Houston Station on two, step three, decimal one, and a robo procedure SSRMS is in the high order position. Copy. And Drew, let us know when your review is complete and you guys are ready for a Dragon Approach. Oh, yeah, I'm standing back. We're looking at about six minutes until Dragon will be ready to depart that 30 meter hold point. And the crew just confirmed that the arm is in position hold. The space station's Canada Arm 2 is ready and waiting for Dragon to be released from its current hold point. You're getting the same view as the astronauts right now. This is a look at the Cupola workstation on the International Space Station, where NASA's Andrew Morgan and Jessica Meir will be ready to capture the vehicle. You can see at the bottom of your screen the Canada Arm 2. It will be prepped and ready once Dragon reaches 10 to 12 meters, or about 30 feet, away from the International Space Station. As we mentioned, this workstation is in the cupola module of the space station, and that's the pretty much bay window area where astronauts have a great view of not only Earth, but of course of Dragon and operations like this. You can see your screen starting to get a little bit darker as the space station flies 268 statute miles south of Australia. Step three, decimal three, crew's ready for a dragon approach to capture point. True copy, dragon is ready to proceed to the capture point. Expect approach to resume shortly. And Dragon has received the go to depart that 30 meter hold point, its next destination being about 10 to 12 meters from the space station.
Station Houston on two, Dragon has begun approach from 30 meters. Monitor first step five and one decimal one zero two. Copy that, Adam. This ascension from the hold point at 30 meters to the capture point of about 10 to 12 meters from the station takes around 15 minutes. It's a very slow speed between Dragon and the space station at this point. These are very deliberate movements, as required when near the station, to ensure a safe approach. International Space Station has just crossed the Terminator line. That's that difference between day and night on Earth. International Space Station orbits Earth about every 90 minutes, seeing almost 16 sunrises and sunsets every day. It's flying constantly at about 17,500 miles per hour. Station on two for block Bravo when you're ready, copy. Send it. Adam on both monitors one and three, the light is inside the corridor. The vehicle size matches the outline on both monitors one and three. The light is inside the circle on both monitors one and three. And the circle is a half vehicle width starboard of the corridor center and a half vehicle length forward of the Corridor Center in both monitors one and three. Copy. Good report, Drew. This is a view down the latching end defector. That's at the end of the Canada Arm 2, and we can see Dragon slowly and carefully approaching the International Space Station. NASA astronaut Andrew Morgan just reporting his view from the Cupola workstation. Everything's still looking good for Dragon's capture this morning.
Dragon continues its journey towards the International Space Station after departing that 30-meter hold point, now moving to 10 to 12 meters away. You get another look at those two emblems below the P on SpaceX. Those are two small International Space Station somewhat tattoos to mark that it has been here not once and not only not only once but twice before. This will be its third mission to the International Space Station. As we mentioned, this is Dragon's 20th commercial resupply mission to the station, wrapping up the CRS-1 contract. The next flight of a Dragon will look a little different because the craft itself will be a little different. Those solar panels you see now, instead of being uh, giving Dragon about a 54-foot wingspan, those panels themselves will actually be on the trunk of Dragon. This will be a similar body style to that of the SpaceX Crew Dragon where SpaceX is helping us return American astronauts from American soil to the International Space Station as part of the commercial crew program. Dragon is about 5 meters away from that 10 to 12 meter capture point, everything continuing to move along smoothly. If you look closely, you can see that grapple fixture outside of the Dragon. It's that three-pronged point. That's what the latching end effector on the Canadarm2 will grapple once it's been commanded to do so by the astronauts aboard the International Space Station.
Things continuing to move smoothly for Dragon. We should see it reach that capture point very shortly. Station Houston on two, confirm capture point hold per step six and one decimal one zero two. Copy and work. And as you heard our capsule communicator report to the crew, Dragon is now at the capture point, 10 to 12 meters away from the space station. Station on two for step six. Um, we can confirm capture conditions are confirmed, but we did want to consult with you on the lighting conditions, uh, how far we are from sunrise. And checking. We're back with you on two. We have seven minutes exactly to give you the go for capture, and then you'll have 15 minutes remaining uh, before sunrise. So if you want to capture during sunrise, we'll have to wait for the next capture window. Adam, stand by. Station on two for Dragon Step Six. Uh, we'll go with the lighting conditions and we're ready to proceed with your go. Dragon. 
Two copy all. Your go for capture sequence. Perform step forward. One decimal one one zero. Dragon capture. Begin to monitoring the back way cue card. And I'll remind to meet exercise and uh, constraints that uh, Oleg will need to stop on a red. Y'all, Adam, we're go for capture, and we'll put step four in work. And as you heard, the crew is go for capture, Dragon now at that 10 to 12 meter hold point. The crew on board is stepping through their procedures. We'll start to see the cannon arm two there at the bottom of your screen. Get closer to Dragon capsule and that capture point, which you can see outside of the spacecraft. As this is the final flight of this style of Dragon capsule, this will also be the last grapple and berthing arrival of the Dragon spacecraft. In the future, Dragon will dock to the International Space Station, meaning it will be an automated, automated installation, and we won't see this procedure.
team on the ground reporting all capture conditions are still looking good for Dragon, still moving quite ahead of schedule this morning. Station on two first strobe. We've commanded it off. Copy. As you heard NASA astronaut Andrew Morgan reporting, they turned off the strobe light on the SpaceX capsule. The crew does have the ability to command part of the SpaceX Dragon once it is this close to the vehicle. They're continuing to step through their procedures and prepare to drive in the Canada Arm 2. That's the view you're getting right now from the latching end effector. We'll be waiting for their confirmation that they are driving the arm in toward the capture point at the center of your screen. And the arm is now in motion. They're moving in toward Dragon and the capture point. Arm now six meters away. Arm is five meters from Dragon.
4 meters. The Dragon capsule is in free drift and the arm is 3 meters away. Two meters from capture. One meter. Cannon arm two over the pen. Capture has been commanded. And snares are closed around that grapple fixture. And at 5.25 a.m. Central Time and 262 miles, 262 statute miles over the Northeast Pacific, northwest of Vancouver, British Columbia, we have capture of the SpaceX-20 Dragon spacecraft. Dragon arrives today with over 4,300 pounds of supplies, experiments, equipment, and more for the crew on, on board the International Space Station, completing its two-day journey after launching on Friday, March 6th. Capture was commanded by this morning by NASA astronauts Jessica Meir and Andrew Morgan aboard the International Space Station, working with teams here in Mission Control Houston.
Now that capture is complete by the crew on board the space station, everything looking nominal, controls of the arm will be handed over to Houston. They'll reposition the vehicle and prepare it for berthing to the Harmony module, which we will also share with you shortly. Houston, station on two for Dragon. Go ahead on two, Jessica. Adam, capture is complete. We are go for post-capture reconfiguration. Copy all, and congratulations to you and Drew on a successful capture of CRS-20. Final capture for Dragon 1 Castle. Thank you, Adam. The SpaceX-20 mission is a milestone for several reasons. It is, of course, the 20th SpaceX cargo mission, but it is also the last SpaceX cargo vehicle captured by the Canadarm, as future vehicles will automatically dock to the space station. It is also the last cargo vehicle that we'll visit during our current cruise time on ISS. This is actually the third time that this specific Dragon capsule has arrived here at station, demonstrating the more sustainable approach that will be paramount to the future of spaceflight. We welcome SpaceX 20 and are eager to reveal its bounty of science and space station hardware and supplies. Congratulations to the SpaceX and all of the ISS partner teams involved. Great words, Jessica. Thanks from Houston and all the team here. You can see sunrise approaching in the background and dragon in the foreground captured at 5.25 a.m. Central Time this morning as the space station was flying 262 statute miles over the northern Pacific, the Northeast Pacific. And with capture complete, commanded by NASA astronauts Jessica Meir and Andrew Morgan, controls of the arm are handed over to Houston and the robotics officer here on the ground over the next while, they will uh, perform some checks on Dragon to make sure it is ready to be berthed to the Harmony module aboard the International Space Station. As mentioned by Jessica Meir, this is the last time that the Dragon spacecraft will be captured by the Canada Arm 2 and then berthed to the space station. In the future, it will dock with its new vehicle style. We're going to take a break as some of those checks occur and that preparation for berthing, and we'll come back to continue our coverage of the SpaceX Dragon's arrival to the space station at 7 a.m. Central Time. In the meantime, that concludes our coverage of the capture of SpaceX's Dragon on its 20th commercial resupply mission. Join us again for that live berthing coverage at 7 a.m. Central. Signing off for now, this is Mission Control Houston.